All right, 2.30 on the dot. It is a Thursday afternoon. Welcome to the final stretch break of the week. My name is Luis Morales. Thank you guys for joining me today. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to stay on our feet just to start off this stretch break. I kind of want to address the shoulders a little bit today, especially because if you were with us earlier um, for exercise with Exos, we got some good shoulder work in. I know my shoulders um, probably feeling a little bit tight tomorrow. Um, but it, it was good work nonetheless. So standing here, let's go ahead and plant those feet about shoulder width apart. What we're going to do is just some nice backwards shoulder rolls. So we're trying to kind of bring those shoulders forward, scrunch our chest together a little bit, bring those shoulders up near the ears, kind of trying to match it with the inhale as we shrug up near the ears, let those shoulders roll back. And then we're going to pull them down into our back pockets here. So a nice kind of big rotation here with those shoulder blades. Trying to get them to come up and then slide back down our rib cage. You can kind of move at your own pace with this one. Just trying to inhale, match up that shoulder rise with the inhale and then the exhale as we bring those shoulder blades back down. Also probably be good to have that core just a little bit tight, just so we can make sure the rest of our spine isn't going anywhere as we do these nice big shoulder rolls. Let's go in one more good roll. Beautiful. All right, you can shake those arms out a little bit if you need. Next one we're gonna be doing is really, really similar. Um, we're gonna stay in that nice shoulder width stance with the feet. This time we're just gonna focus on bringing those shoulder blades together, specifically just pinching them together, um, kind of undoing hopefully some of that slouching that we get into during the day while we're working, the shoulder blades will kind of start to sit a little further away from each other um, than we would like. So let's stay up nice and tall, keep that core nice and tight. Let's do about 10 just shoulder blade pinches. We're just taking them straight back, trying to pinch as much as we can, and then just let them relax. So make sure they're not going up at all. We're just going back to pinch them. Just waking up those muscles a little bit and then relaxing. This is also something that you can just kind of do whenever, especially when you're feeling that slouch position get extra stiff during the day. Just doing a few of these will definitely help make shoulders feel better and the spine feel a little bit better too. The spine is going to be kind of flexed forward typically and doing this kind of helps it bring, in, bring it back to neutral. We get a little bit of extension in there, which always helps us feel better. Keep going with those strong pinches, probably a couple more here. I know I wasn't counting. All right, we'll make this one the last one here. Extra strong, strong shoulder blade pinch here, guys. Nicely done, relax. All right, next, let's move kind of down onto the ground a little bit here. I'm gonna come into a nice half kneeling position here. Feel free to grab a pillow or anything that might help pad that knee up a little bit. So right knee down, half kneeling position here, and what we're going to do is flow in between that nice hip flexor stretch and that hamstring stretch. Um, I like this position a lot just because you can kind of get multiple things out of it. So let's start by tucking the tailbone, squeezing that glute of the knee that's on the ground or the side of the knee that's on the ground, sucking that core in, pushing those hips forward a little bit, trying to find that nice hip flexor stretch. And once we do, we can raise that arm up overhead to kind of exaggerate the stretch a little bit. Don't forget to breathe. Keep that glute squeeze going. Beautiful. All right, let's rock back, put some weight into that knee. Let's extend that front leg and we're gonna reach down for the toes here, getting into a nice hamstring stretch. Try to have that leg kind of be going still straight out from where your hip is at. Try not to have it be way out to the side. Even if you can't reach the toes, that's totally okay. Just doing the best we can here. All 
All right, let's come back up into that hip flexor stretch one more time. So same side here, keeping that same knee on the ground, going through that same checklist, tucking that tailbone, bringing that core in, squeezing that glute, pushing abs forward a little bit, and then that overhead reach here with the arm, if you can manage. Nicely done, guys. All right, one more time. Let's rock back into that hamstring stretch. Same side once again, then we'll switch it over after this. Should we take a few breaths here? Nicely done, guys. All right, slowly come out of that. Let's switch it on over to the other side. Do the same thing, hip flexor and that hamstring stretch twice. So once again, let's go through that same checklist, tucking that tailbone, squeezing that glute. Core is all tucked in here. We're pushing the hips forward, and eventually reaching up overhead if we can, kind of exaggerating that hip flexor stretch a little bit. Nice and done, guys. All right, rock back into that hamstring, straining that front leg out, reaching for those toes, trying to stay nice and in line here. Good work, you guys, good work. All right, let's get back on that hip flexor stretch one more time here on the side. Squeezing the glute, pushing those hips forward, core tucked in, tailbone tucked. And then we're up overhead with the arm if we can. Really good stretch here, especially if you're sitting a lot during the day, which I know I am. All right, guys, one more time. Let's rock back on that hamstring stretch. Ooh, that feels good. All right, guys, nicely done. All right. Slowly come up out of that position, kind of back to that kneeling position. And we're going to come up into standing one more time. All right. Once we're back up into standing, let's go ahead and establish a nice, kind of wide stance here. It doesn't have to be the widest of stances. However, we do kind of want the feet, you know, wider than shoulder width apart here. And we want those toes mainly pointed forward. A little bit of angle, about 10 degrees is okay, but make sure they're for the most part pointed forward here. And what we're gonna do is just go into a kind of a nice forward fold, stretch that low back and that whole posterior chain out. So pushing the hips back, keeping those knees nice and straight. We're just gonna hang out here in the middle here for a sec. Take a couple breaths in through the belly. That way we'll be able to feel kind of our lower back, lower torso expand a little bit here. That's going to let those arms hang, let that head hang, let that neck relax a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and walk those hands over to the right side or as far right as you comfortably can. Maybe, maybe that's reaching for the calf or the ankle or the toes, whatever's available. Solid belly breaths here.
All right, let's slowly walk those hands in the middle and then over to the left side. Again, whatever target that you can hold on to, go ahead and do so. Keep breathing in through that belly. Last breath here. All right, walk those hands back into the middle. <clears throat> Slowly bend those knees and then we can kind of roll it all the way up nice and slow, tucking that tailbone, bringing that head and neck up. Last thing. All right, guys, we got time for one more quick one. I'm gonna go ahead and send you guys off with something that might wake you up just a little bit and that is some inchworms. So let's make sure we have just a good amount of space in front of us, enough to do a, a plank or get into that kind of push-up starting position. With the feet you know, together but not touching, let's go ahead and once again bend over, try and touch those toes, bend the knees a little bit if you have to. And when you're ready, let's slowly walk those hands out until we can get into a nice plank position with those hands under those shoulders, core still working nice and tight here, guys. And then let's push those hips up, bring those hands back in towards the feet, and slowly roll it all the way up. Awesome, all right, let's do one more. Same thing, bending down, touch the toes, bending the knees a little bit if you have to, and then walking those hands out into a nice plank position, making sure those hands are under the shoulders, not too far in front of us, making sure that core is nice and tight. One good breath here, pushing those hips back up and then walking those hands back in one at a time. And then slowly straighten it up all the way back up. Head, neck and shoulders are the last thing to rise up here. Oh man, that felt good. All right guys, thank you guys for joining me. It's all the time I have for today. Final stretch break of the week. Zen and 10 program is coming to a close this week, guys, but that doesn't mean we don't want you to continue coming to the live stretch breaks and or watching them on our YouTube channel. So keep doing that. Keep getting in those kind of movement snacks, so to say, since we spent a lot of our day being static. We want to make sure that we kind of get in a few points where we're just actively moving, stretching, getting the blood flowing, just to make sure our joints don't rust over time. All right, guys. Take care. We'll see you guys next time. Good job, guys. See you guys later.